in match problem three, now we want to take a look at marginal average costs. So we have the same cost function that we were given in match problem two. We want to first start off by finding our average cost function and then find the marginal average cost function. So our average cost function is just the original cost function divided by x. So we'll get 7,000 plus 2x over x. Now technically at this point we're done. That is our average cost function. However, this expression is a little too complicated for us right now to take the derivative of. So what we're going to do is break it down a little bit more and split this into the sum of two different fractions. So we'll rewrite this as 7,000 over x plus 2x over x. And we can do that uh, because now what we have are two separate fractions with the same common denominator, which means we could add these together just by adding the numerators together, and we get that same common denominator. So 7,000 plus 2x would just be our 7,000 plus 2x over x, that common denominator. So we want to split that up into the sum of two fractions, and now we'll just simplify a little bit here. x over x is going to cancel out, and we can rewrite 7,000 over x as 7,000 x to the negative 1, so that, again, it will fit our derivative properties better, plus 2. So that's our average cost function. Now we want to find our marginal average cost function, which is just the derivative of that average cost function. So this is going to give us negative 7,000 x to the negative 2. Or we could similarly write that as negative 7,000 over x squared. I think for most of the homework problems, uh, they're typically looking for an answer to be in this form. When it comes to exam time, uh, I'm more than happy with that answer. These two things are completely identical. Uh, both work just as well. So in part B, we want to take our average cost, or we want to calculate our average cost at a production level of 100 and our marginal average cost at a production level of 100. And we want to interpret both of those quantities. So first thing we want to do is find the average cost at a production level of 100 units. So we'll take a look at our average cost function, plug in x equals 100, which should give us a result of $72. And what that means is that at a production level of 100 units, our average cost per unit is $72. So if we produce 100 units, the average cost per item is about $72. If we find the marginal average cost at a production level of 100 units, we can calculate the marginal average cost by plugging 100 into our marginal average cost function, which is going to give us negative 70 cents. So what that means is that our average cost is decreasing, since we have a negative value here. So our average cost per item is decreasing at a rate of 70 cents per unit. So on average, for each additional unit that we're producing, costs are decreasing by about 70 cents per unit. So now we want to use the results in Part B to estimate the average cost per headphone set at a production level of 101 headphones. So we can start with the $72 that we came up with, because that's the average cost 
at a production level of 100 units. And then we can subtract 0 0.7, since that's the decrease in our average cost, when we produce one additional item. So subtracting those two values, we get $71.30. Which is our average cost per item at a production level of 100 units.